That is Jamie Diamond. There was a large panel of the great and the good. Hani Kablawi is with me, the chairman of BNY Mellon International. Good to see you, sir. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, good sir, to be for here. coming in. The, the situation globally, we just heard then, everybody's expecting rates to go up further. Recession has now become um, the, uh, the accepted norm. Would, that, would you agree with that? I think that we possibly enter into a recession sometime early to mid next year. That is possible. The big question is how quickly can we get out of it? Is it a V, U, W, those, those letters again, I would say. I mean, look, our narrative um, high level is that there's probably three things playing out globally that we need to watch out for. One is that deglobalization is taking pace. Right. Uh, that is going to result in disruption and shortening of supply chains and result in inflation structurally. Which we've got. Which we have. There is a, an end of the peace dividend of 1989. That means energy prices are likely to stay up for longer. And uh, uh, there is a, uh, a just a, just generally uh, an end to quantitative easing uh, that uh, as as central banks are trying to suck liquidity out of the markets and control inflation. How does that affect this part of the world? Because at the end of the day, uh, Saudi, all the yeah. Gulf states have have really benefited yeah. from the higher oil price and will continue to do so. Uh, that, that is exactly right. So on balance, all of these all of that narrative actually plays out in favor of oil producing and exporting nations. And in fact, inflation hasn't been that high here as it has been in other markets. They've, they've had to match interest rate rises because of the dollar pegs, but actually it's been a pretty benign environment otherwise, and energy prices have been a boom. Can Saudi continue this spending boom? I mean, Neom, the Giga projects, Red Sea, the Red Sea project, all these different. Roshan, they're building 500,000 uh, uh, housing units around the country. Daraia, a lot of the tourism projects that they're building. There is there is a lot of spending taking place. It is very organized, and so one of the themes that I walk away with from the FII this year is that the momentum seems to be palpable. You can feel the energy. You talk to any Saudi, we employ Saudis here in, in mm -hmm. the kingdom, and, and everybody's on message. Everybody's on the bus, and there seems to be strong momentum towards Vision 2030 with strong execution. The question is, will the funding be here for all of these programs in the medium to long term? And of course, part of the answer here is that as they deliver phases, they're going to be showcasing these phases and expecting more FDI and portfolio flows to come in. Now, you see, that's a difference because to a large extent, previous infrastructure or whatever has been funded yep. domestically through revenues. If you're now saying, and we know PIF, for example, did go to the market on a bond issuance, yep. and therefore we got greater transparency of, of, of PIF's books, do you, the money's no longer just flowing one way. They're going to be looking to bring it in. There's a lot more transparency and, and, and investment in financial market infrastructure taking place here to do exactly that, right? So you're delivering on phases of these giga projects, but you're also investing in the financial sustainability of a lot of your companies here. The National Development Fund is another example of a large fund that is taking a development approach uh, that, similar to what we see in other markets, right? The, the changes that, he, that uh, MBS has introduced have, have certainly dramatically altered the way of life. Yes. But is it still easier or easy to convince staff to come and transfer to Saudi Arabia? Uh, I think uh, w we are transferring some people to Saudi Arabia and we know a lot of our peers in the industry are transferring people to Saudi Arabia. It costs a little bit more to do that perhaps, but I think that expertise also can right. be transferred over time. So we're transferring knowledge both by moving people here, but also by training, developing and, and, and spending a lot of time with our Saudi clients and partners. It's good to have you with us, sir. Thank you very, very much. Good to be here. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Terrific. I'm grateful. Day one.